Sometimes working for Marineland could be all play. The waters around Catalina were clear and pleasant. And my diving partner, most attractive. We were searching for guitar fish for the big Marineland tank when suddenly a playful sea lion joined our company. Sea lions are natural clowns, friendly, graceful, and curious. This one entertained us for hours. I didn't know then that 1,500 miles inland, an explosion had destroyed a mine shaft, flooding it with water, and that it would be my assignment to fly there and survey the extent of the damage. Thirty men are at work here. The next minute, the explosion. Thirty men are blown to pieces, the shaft burned out, and the mine flooded. No survivors at all, huh? None. We've recovered most of the bodies already. As I said on the phone, our specific problem is how far does the flooding extend? If it reaches as far as this short point, uh, this wooden wall, we know we have to start another shaft. If not, we can go to work fixing up that shaft. You have to give us the answer. It's about a thousand yards to this wooden wall here, huh? Yes, and it can be underwater all the way. Can you carry enough air in those cylinders you wear to make the round trip? I think so. Good. A man named Bill Henderson will take you down the shaft. The elevator was wrecked, so you'll have to be lowered by a rope. He'll help you pick your way through the explosion area to the point where the flooding begins. You'll have to be careful. There's loose shoring and rock all the way. Now, about your price. How much do you want, Mr. Nelson? Well, we better talk about that later, Mr. Graham. I uh, have no idea what I'm in for. <laughs> all right. Bill. Bill Henderson, this is Mr. Mike Nelson, the man you're going to take down. Good to meet you, Mr. Nelson. Mr. Henderson. Well, good luck, and we're counting on you for our answer. Hello, this. Thanks a lot, Bill. Not much, Mr. Graham. I'm sorry about your boy. Thanks, Bill. Your son was in the mine? One of the first they brought up. I'm sorry, Mr. Graham. Thanks. It was an eerie feeling to penetrate the mine on a rope through the narrow opening of the mine shaft. I've sailed the seven seas and visited six continents, but I'd never been in a mine before, and I never want to be in one again, especially one that's flooded. How far is it to the point where the water begins? About a quarter of a mile. Five trays close to hand behind me, Mr. Nelson. Try not to put in a weight on any loose rocks that may be jumping out. One loose one can cause an avalanche. Don't touch that. It's a tight squeeze. Take it slow. Watch your head. I see what you mean. Tight squeeze is right. I think it's safe now, but take it easy.
all right, Mr. Nelson? Yeah, I'm all right. This tunnel is going to pieces. It ought to be clear from here to where the water starts. Yeah, well, what are my feelings? through there somewhere, huh? Want to hold this for me? Got to put these fins on. Now you can take this hat. I won't need that anymore. Now let's see what time it is. 3.20. Got about 40 minutes of air in my tank. That means I gotta get back here at 4 o'clock. My deadline is 4. What if you don't get back? What can I do? Nothing. Mr. Nelson, you've got a dangerous job. Uh, what about this job of yours, Mr. Henderson? Searchlight illuminated the passage for only a short distance. I had to feel my way through the timber. I moved slowly and carefully, studying the layout of the passage, making mental notes of the damage. became more pronounced, more regular, as if someone was striking one rock against another. Then suddenly, I noticed a shaft of light from above. I surfaced quickly and looked around. just above the water line. Thank <laughs> you. 
Breathe. How'd you find us? We're just luck. Can you get us out of here? I'll have to go back to the other lung. I left one up on the surface. Oh, there isn't time. We can't stay here any longer. There isn't any air. Five minutes more. Ten at the most. Air. <laughs> Can you get us out? What are you going to do? We'll go out together. <clears throat> Sharing my air supply on the way. Passing the mouthpiece back and forth, each taking its turn. <laughs> that might work. But, but what? I've only got enough air to take one man out. Trapped in a foul air pocket in a flooded mine. Only enough air left in my cylinders to take one of the men back with me underwater. Not enough air left in the pocket to keep the other man alive until I could get a new cylinder and return. Who would go? Who would stay? How would I decide? You know how to swim? A little? What about you? No. Can't. No, it doesn't matter. It'll be too tough sharing this mouthpiece while they're swimming anyhow. We'll walk side by side. You need a weight belt. Uh, these rocks. Yeah. Yeah, these rocks are going to do the trick. That'll keep the man down. Keep who down? Who are you taking? Uh, don't you give that stuff about married and having two kids. I got as much right to live as you have. I have as much right. Save your breath. You draw straws. Draws, I mean. Let me see. Yeah. The man who takes the smaller rock stays. <laughs> Until I tap you on the on, on the shoulder, and you give it up quickly, huh? You understand? All right. <laughs> oh, one thing more. When we get near the end, don't panic if you can't get any air. I still got an emergency supply left when I flip this. Okay, there'll be about two minutes of air left. 
who gets a mouthpiece first. You do. I'll be back as fast as I can. You hold on now. Good luck. You're all right. I'll hold on here. Now stop. Ready? mouthpiece frantically. He refused to give it up when I tapped him on the shoulder. I had no choice. I forced it out of his mouth. His fear turned into panic. He reached for my knife and tried to stab me. He was strong as an ox, but underwater I was stronger. I disarmed him quickly. My knife and light fell to the bottom. I pushed him toward the surface and returned him to the air pocket. Then I descended again to recover my light and knife. instructions. We touched the bottom together and exchanged our mouthpiece in regular cadence. We moved along smoothly. Look, where are they, you know? Well, not exactly. They were near here. 
There. 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 I'm not so glad. Good. Same valve fit. Need a pressure. Oh, tools. I'll need some tools to fit it up in my regulator. Where are they, you know? The farmer's tool can't be. It's underwater. Where? Where are they underwater? It's over there, about ten yards out. To the right. Okay. of the world is covered by the sea and how little most of us know about that underwater world go below with us again next week huh for another thrilling adventure in sea hunt